Hi, I'm Jake Barnett. I uh, just want to show you some ball handling drills real quick. Um, don't want to focus too much in on your ball handling, but maybe 45, half an hour a day, 45 minutes. Uh, the most important things is going as hard as you can. Um, the guy who taught me how to do it was said, if you mess up, that's a good thing. So when you're going real hard, if you mess up, that's what you want to do. Um, and really focus on getting low and staying in a stance and making your crossovers as good as they can. And now keep in mind too, when you first start doing this, you won't be as good as you will when you progressively get better. For me, it took me about a, maybe six months to start getting better at really honing in on the crossover uh, juggling series and stuff like that, which I'll show you in a little bit. But don't be discouraged, work hard, keep going at it every day, and you'll progressively get better. The first is a two pound simple series. You wanna really focus on pounding the ball as high as you can, and getting low to the ground. So, just like this. Emphasize it as high as you can. Then go on the alternating as high as you can. Alright, All right. the next you want to really focus on uh, keeping one ball low, one ball high. So start with the left, low. Just notice my stance. It's low, it's not standing up high. You really want to work on getting low. Switch it. All right. All right, the next one's kind of like an in and out dribble. Almost like this, only you really want to focus on getting low. So the first one will go same direction. We just want to Ball as fast as you can. Left, right, left. Same direction. Then you want to alternate. So this one's going in. This one's going out. So this, to begin with, the left hand will be on top of the other ball. Oh my goodness. Then you want to switch it. The right hand will go above. Then we get no if you want. Um, so then the next one after that, after the crossover, just simple side by side. We'll work on getting both. Same direction again. And then you want to alternate it. Find us the easiest way to alternate them is to start one like this, back and one forward. You really work on getting low. One is going forward. You can't speed it up. When you get real advanced, you could try a push, pull, push behind the back series. So you push, pull, push behind the back. Push, pull, push behind the back. It's been a while since I've done it, so bear with me. Push behind the back. Push, pull, push behind the back. Push, pull, push behind the back. All right, still doing two ball stuff here. This is a juggling series. It's, uh, it's gonna look kind of weird at first. It's gonna be tough to do it. But you want this ball to cross over and you want to pass over to the other hand. So you really want to work on getting low and passing the ball as fast as you can. But eventually when you get better at it, you want to keep your eyes up because you don't want to look at the ball when you're dribbling. So first you'll start with crossing over right to left. The left hand will pass over to the right hand. So cross over right to left. The left hand will pass to the right hand. So it looks something like this. Okay, now the other way, you're gonna do the same thing. Now left to right, so your left, left hand's gonna cross over to your right hand, and your right hand's gonna pass to your left hand. Okay, so that's the juggling scene juggling series for the crossover. You can do the same thing between the legs behind the back. So the same thing we just did like this, you can also do between the legs juggling. So one, crossing over with your right hand between the legs, 
the left hand is passing to the right hand. So you can go this, this way through your legs first. Then you can go back the other way. Oh man. Same thing with the other leg. Do a show you real quick. Right hand crosses through. Pass over. Same thing left to right. And last but not least, toughest one is behind the back. Go the other way. As you can see, I still need to work on this too. All right. Okay. Um, these are just kind of, after the juggling series, these are kind of three more, um, kind of more advanced, a little bit uh, um, juggling series. So once you get this down really well, now you want to work this on, it's called the crossover, three left, three right. So we're going to do the same thing, only instead of just doing it, we're going to go three left on a sway, and then three right on a sway. So you sway. So like, when you're in a game, you're crossing over. So when you're really in a game, you want to start your crossover, you can get low and sway. So it's the same thing. So three ways left. I got that one down. Okay, then the, the next one I want to show you is a little bit different. It looks the same, but it's different. So instead of juggling now, the best way I can explain it is picture this ball being red, this ball being green. This ball always touches the ground. This ball never touches the ground. So you're crossing over, the green ball always hitting the ground, the red one's never touching. So you want to sway, cross, pass. Go high, you want to make sure you make mistakes. Okay, last but not least, is a, uh, it's a crossover again, but it's a little bit different. It's called right, left, right. No, right, left, cross, right. So you're going to pound hard with your right hand, right, left, right hand crosses the left hand. So it's almost like the pass, we're doing two dribbles between it. So right, left, cross, right, left, cross, left hand passes to the right hand. Right, left, cross. When you get faster at it, you want to do it about 20 times. So, right, left, right, left, cross, right, left, cross. I say it along to help me remember, same thing. Left, right, left, right, cross. So, left, right, cross. This time, left, right, left hand crosses over, right hand passes to the left hand. So same thing. Oh man. Okay. Um, next is called between the legs series. Um, we got a couple more two ball stuff, and we'll move over to just to doing one ball. But uh, this one's similar between the legs forward and between the legs backwards. The first one you want to do is two balls again between the legs, same time. Helps you wear some high shorts. I know it's not the most popular thing to do, but helps get the ball through. So you really want to focus on staying low and not cuffing the ball. And just really getting it through the legs low. Both bounce at the same time. Same way through the back. So two balls through the back at the same time. Now notice how low I am. I'm not standing straight up. I'm low to the ground. Start getting faster, go, go as hard as you can. Okay. Now same thing, we're gonna do the same thing forward and backwards every time. So now we're gonna do alternating. So alternating through the legs backwards. <laughs> Try to keep those eyes up. I'm still working on that part. Now through the legs uh, forward. This one's a little weird, it's almost like a dance move. You wanna pick your leg up when you put it through so it doesn't hit the back of your so, okay, so that's forward, backwards. Last but not least, is the hardest one. This is the advanced kind of. Now, now, again, red ball, green ball. I'm gonna put it through my legs, but the, the red ball starts in my right hand, but it's gonna end up in my left hand. So you wanna start behind, cross over. 
Catch. Cross over. This ball is crossing first. The right hand ball goes through first. The left hand goes back second. So there it is. Do this about 10 times. Just really helps on your kind of ball thinking a little bit. You can't just go through, you gotta think. Now this is tougher, same way backwards. I'll show you forwards and backwards first. Okay, so next time. So then uh, this is the second one. We just went through backwards, now we'll go through forwards. This one's a little bit harder. Catch, cross. I struggle with that one still a little bit. Cross. Cross. Same thing. Okay. Okay, last but not least, we got just three more kind of difficult ones. Um, I didn't learn these until after I started working on the main ones. And the ones I showed you before is the main stuff you want to work on and you want to work your way up to the rest of these. Um, but work on all of them though. You want to work on all of these and get progressively better on all of them. Uh, so the last three. The first one is just, uh, it's just a two balls, one hand. So you really want to let it look easy, but you really want to work on pounding them out. Alternate. Eyes up. Same thing with your left hand. real good at this, we've been working on lately, you want to do pound off both balls and catch a tennis ball while you're doing it. You got to keep your eyes up, catch them while you're dribbling. All right, next one is a double bounce. You might not be able to see it real well, but you want the balls to bounce twice through your legs forward and through your legs backward. So it's bounce, pound. So I don't know if you can hear it, but the balls are bouncing twice. And you don't want to, you don't want to push, you just kind of want to slap it through your legs. So it's double bounce. Uh, hold on. Double bounce. Double bounce. Double bounce. Double bounce. And this one's more just to get low. Kind of just working on getting low and keeping the ball over the ground. Because sometimes you always can't cross over. You gotta get the ball over. And last but not least is the uh, Pete Maravich ser series. It's just Pete Maravich used to do this because if you notice, he used to, in the games, he used to fake the passes a lot like that. So you want to start with an inside out dribble. Inside out dribble, double pound. So let me show you first and I'll explain. Inside out, inside out, double, catch. Inside out, inside out, double, catch. So this is working on your hand-eye coordination. So you're gonna do a inside out dribble, really selling the sway, inside out, inside out, pound balls at the same time. And you wanna wrap your hand around the ball twice and catch. Catch, and when you get better, it's, it's three times catch. So you can start with the single, and then work your way up to both balls. So let's say you're doing it with just one ball. Just pound, my fault. Pound, catch. Pound. Do it 15 times. Pound, catch. Now double. Catch. 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 Okay, now you might see a couple of these and you might go like, how does this help with your ball hand, with your ball handling? But just remember, a lot of this stuff is for your hand-eye coordination too. Last one, but not least, is because it's gonna look real funky, but it's really good for your hand-eye coordination. Um, so I'm gonna show you, try to show you the best I can how to start this. But you want to dribble and keep the other ball in the air at the same time that you're dribbling. My goal is to try to get it 20 times without dropping the ball. So I pound this one down, keep that one up. Really work on getting low, and slap the other ball up in the air. So pound, pound, up a lot. I've done this for a while, so you really got to work on turning your hand. I start it like this. I start the ball in this hand, dribble, and pop. Not with the left hand. I got a sore on the, on the right hand. Same thing with the left. When you get good enough, you can do both balls. That's the end of the two ball series. Get the one out. This is the one ball series. Don't have as many of these, I can't remember as many, but uh, 
I actually do this before every game just to kind of get my handles going. Um, it's just a touch. So you really want to work again on getting low and swing. I mean, every time you cross over, you're going to touch the floor. So it's 25 touches, right, left, as low as you can, exaggerating the crossover. Now I'm 6'6", six, six, and you see how low I'm getting? You have to get low to sell that cross, especially when you're taller guard. You gotta make sure you get low. All right, the next is between the legs. Cross, touch, cross. Now I'm touching the floor between every one. Don't make sure you don't miss the touches because you wanna get low. Same thing with the right leg, 25 touches. 25. All right, now this one's gonna be a little bit harder. It's gonna be behind the back touches. So you gotta really work on dipping that knee, knee down. We'll get going. Oh. I'm an old man, so let's do this. Jeez. Touch in. Touch in. Oh. All right, 25 touches like that. You're going to really feel that in your hips when you're done. So. Okay, I'll try to get you the most, more one ball stuff I'm blanking out right now. Um, but uh, what I try to end out every workout with is ball hand workout is exaggerated everything. So exaggerated crossover, exaggerated between the legs, exaggerated behind the back. So what I try to do is I try to go up against the wall. So when I mess up, the ball comes back to me. You want to go so fast that you're almost messing up every time. Um, so you want to do right hand first to left, right hand cross to left, 10 times each, nothing more than that. As hard as you can. Getting low, pounding the ball. So. Obviously, that might look a little bit crazy. You know, when you eventually get better at it, when in the game, if it's someone off with a quick crossover, it's going to be more quicker, better, faster. Okay? So, same thing here between the legs. Same thing behind the back, all right to left. Messing up there. Same thing, left to right. Show you the rest real quick. Between the legs. Turn it back. All right, so you want to do 10 of those at the end of every workout. And again, I probably do all these drills for about 30 seconds each. So. The pound, start with the pound, pound, 30 seconds. Pound, pound, 30 seconds. 30 seconds each, guaranteed. Six weeks to it, handles will get better. And uh, if you want, really want to get crazy with it, do everything you do with tennis balls before you do it with basketballs. So two tennis balls pound, two tennis balls low, throw tennis balls out, do the basketballs. I guarantee your handles will get better. So like I said, just work hard, keep it up.